Hi, Geminis. This is your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, Gemini. So the first card, the first message card that you guys have is ghosted. So I feel like someone ghosted you or you ghosted someone else. Someone may have stopped reaching out to you. Um, we have unspoken feelings. Okay. So I feel like there is still love here between you and someone that you were dealing with. But you may not be talking to this person right now. This person could have walked away from this connection and you don't know where things stand. They don't know where things stand. Um, we also have commitment phobia. So I feel like someone, they care about you, but they're afraid to commit to this situation or they're not ready to commit to this situation. Okay. They have someone else that they're dealing with um, or they're, they're just taking a different path right now is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, you could be separated from this person because you have separation. But this person has still has a lot of passion for you, though. If someone um, walked away from you, Geminis, or if you walked away from someone, you still have a lot of passion for this person. But you guys are separated right now. Um, I feel like you're wanting more from this person. You're wanting a commitment. You're wanting this person to settle down. This may have scared them or it could have scared you. Someone, I feel like someone got um, got scared here about settling down. And I feel like it's because they know that it's someone else they have to cut ties with before they can bring you this commitment is what I'm seeing here. And I feel like they're not telling you this because we have unspoken feelings. So even though this person, they still care about you because we have the passion card. So even though they still care about you, I feel like they're not ready. Somebody is not ready to commit, okay? Now, I am picking up energy. I am picking up energy that this person may feel like they're not on your level. Or whatever you're asking them for, they may not be ready to provide it or they may not have the means to provide it, okay? That's also what I'm picking up on here. Now, we have in the bottom row, oh, karmic partner, okay. We have secrets and not over. All right. So some of you are dealing with someone who's um, dealing with a karmic partner and the situation between them and this person, it's not over. Okay. They're either still thinking about this person or they're still with this person. But there is going to be a reunion between you and your partner because this is true love. So whoever they're dealing with, I feel like they're going to realize that this person is not the right person for them or they don't make them happy i feel like something is missing and they're going to be realizing that this month or very soon or they've realized this already um and they're going to realize that the true love lies with you and them and there's going to be some type of reunion here whether it's this person reaching out to you um or just coming back around full circle you know, telling you that they don't want this to be over is what I'm picking up on. But it's someone they haven't left alone. Okay. And also I'm picking up the energy that they may have tried to leave this karmic partner alone. And every time they try to walk away from this person, this person comes after them. Okay. And that's normally what karmic partners do because they don't want to lose their space. Okay. Whatever they have with your partner, if they see your partner pulling away from them, they don't want to lose that. Okay? It's all a part of their game. It's all a part of their game plan, and it's all a part of what they can gain from your partner. Because I'm picking up the energy that whoever they're dealing with when it comes to this karmic partner, it's not even serious. This person has someone else. And I feel like your partner knows it. So when they try to pull away their energy from this karmic partner, they chase after them. That's what I'm picking up on here. And I feel like that's what's causing the confusion here. This is what's taken your person so long to come towards you with a commitment. Okay. And this is things that they're not telling you. They're not telling you that they're actually trying to walk away from this person or they've tried to walk away from this person. But every time they try to walk away from this person, they chase after them because they don't want it to be over with. Because they know, like this karmic partner knows that your person is coming back to you. And they know 
how much you mean to them. So they try to keep them preoccupied or they try to um, put your person's attention on them. This is what I'm picking up on here. Okay, and this is, you know, these are secrets that your person is keeping from you. It's like, I feel like you and this person is not speaking to each other. So you have no idea what's going on with them. They have no idea what's going on with you. But they're trying to let go of a karmic partner. But I think they're struggling to do so. Because what's happening here is your partner don't realize that this is not meant for a commitment. It's not meant for them to have something stable, solid, and grounded with this person. This person is not meant to walk this spiritual path with your partner. Okay? Now, um, have they realized this? I don't think so. But um, I feel like they will. Okay? Because what's going to happen is this karmic partner, they're not going to change their ways. However, their ways are that's causing your partner to want to walk away from them in the first place. They're not going to change that. They only change that temporarily when they see your partner trying to come back towards you or pulling away from them. So they try to switch up on them and they try to act like they care and they try to come in and say more and do more and reach out to them and give them more attention. And then as soon as they feel like things are slowing down and they have your partner back where they want them, then they back off. Okay, so this is all a part of this karmic partner's um, game plan. Okay, I feel like they have more than one person that they're dealing with. And I also feel like your person knows this. Okay. All right. So let's get into your reading. And let's see what else the universe has to say about the situation, Gemini. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What messages do you have for Gemini for the month of August? Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini for the month of August? What do they need to know about this situation? I don't know. I'm picking up the energy of someone being really depressed and sad about this situation. And then I have the energy of someone walking away and giving up. Okay. Now, the first card we have is the devil. So some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn or this could be a toxic situation that you're ready to give up on. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What messages do you have for Gemini's for the month of August? Yeah, so we have the Six of Cups here. So I feel like your partner is having issues letting go of someone from the past. But we are, um, I mean, they are in this hermit mode. Because we have the Devil card here. We have the Six of Cups. So your partner could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio. Um, but the hermit is here, okay? So we have Virgo energy as well. So your partner could be dealing with the Virgo or you could be dealing with the Virgo. But the situation here is your partner, they're having trouble walking away from this person because this person is playing with their head. They're making them think that they're going to have something solid, stable, and grounded with them, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It hasn't happened in the past. I feel like your partner has been playing games with this karmic partner for quite some time and you've been stuck in the middle gemini and you're waiting for this all to end but um i see your partner going into hermit mode yeah so we have the king of swords here so someone is angry about this situation i feel like you're angry about the situation or your partner is angry about the situation there's just a lot of energy here where um there's a lot of confusion and I feel like this karmic partner is like right up in the middle of everything. So we have the five of cups here. So some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, or your partner is in a lot of regret. They're regretting how they've treated you in the past. They could have walked away from you with this eight of cups. We also have the wheel of fortune in reverse. I feel like your partner is not having any luck right now because they're dealing with this karmic partner and i feel like this person is bringing a lot of bad energy their direction and this could have been why you walked away from them because they were um unstable i'm picking up a lot of unstable energy here and somebody being stubborn 
somebody doesn't want to reason when it comes to the situation. Yeah, so we have the Ten of Wands. Yep, world card reverse. Yeah, see, there's a cycle that your partner is in, and they're not ending this cycle with this person, but they don't know. Once they end this cycle with them, they're going to come out of these burdens, okay? This is why they're burdened, because they're not meant to be with them. The universe is not going to support this, okay? That's the problem, and they don't get it, because they're not walking this spiritual path your person is spiritually ignorant like they don't understand it's like they want good things to happen for them and they want good things to happen for you and them in this connection but it's not going to happen as long as they keep this karmic partner around and that's what they don't realize because we have the wheel of fortune reverse we have the world in reverse and we have the ten of wands so some of you could be dealing with a fire sign an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And they're struggling to understand why they're going through so much. And that's because they're trying to hang on to someone that is not meant for them to hang on to. Yeah. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. And they could be struggling financially because of this karmic partner. This karmic partner could be using them for their money. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, though. So I feel like some of them are waking up, okay? They may not want to um, work on this situation, but they haven't fully left it. That's the thing is what I'm seeing here. It's like this karmic partner's energy is still stuck with your person. And if this is not um, your person going through this, Gemini, this could be you going through this, and your partner could be false watching and feeling this way about you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? What do they need to know about the situation? Yeah, see, I keep seeing the lovers here. So we have the lovers. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. Yeah, see, there is not going to be emotional fulfillment here until this karmic partner is going. Gone. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo, or your partner could be dealing with the Leo. Like this karmic that they're dealing with could be a Leo. We have the Ten of Cups reversed here. We have the Strength card. So some of you are trying to have the strength to deal with the situation. But I feel like some of you are actually backing away from it. You're like going in a different direction. Some of you could have found someone else. Or you could be um, getting new love this month. And you may be leaving this situation behind. I don't feel like you want to leave it behind. But you feel like you don't have a choice. So with the Lover's card here, this is your card, Gemini. Um, there's a decision that needs to be made and the thing about it is with the lovers It's a need for you guys to both be totally transparent with each other um, a thousand percent Vulnerable about what you want in this situation and I feel like somebody is not doing it. Somebody is keeping secrets because we did have the um unspoken feelings so somebody is not speaking their true feelings when it comes to this situation and this karmic partner Okay, it's like they're trying to hide things or they don't want you to know exactly what's going on. But your partner is aware that they have to come out of this energy. Yeah, oh my goodness. We have the five of wands. What is this? We have the six of wands in reverse. So some of you could definitely be dealing with the fire sign. And we have the four of swords. Okay, so your partner is definitely healing from this situation or they're trying to heal. But I feel like every time they try to heal, this karmic partner comes around or something. It's like they text them or they call them or they, you know, they reach out to them like with some bullshit message or, you know, just to draw them back in because they feel their energy being taken away. They feel your partner's energy being taken away from them. Because with this five of wands, I'm feeling like you know that um, your partner has someone else. You're aware of it, okay? You may not know who the person is, but you're aware of the energy. You can feel, I feel like your intuition is picking up on a lot here. And then with this five of wands, um, there's a lot of conflict between your partner and this karmic and it's causing conflict between you and your partner because they won't walk away from this situation. Okay, they're coming towards you emotionally unstable and it's because they're dealing with someone else. 
but I'm also picking up energy with this five of wands that this karmic partner have them in competition. So it's like whoever they're dealing with, they have multiple options and they have your partner in competition and there's heartbreak and pain with the three of swords. So someone is being stabbed directly in their heart. They know that they're being played for a fool. Okay. Yeah, three of cups, third party energy. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. They know they're being played because they're in the nine of swords energy. So it's like they're feeling some type of way. There's worry, there's fear, there's anxiety. I feel like um, your partner could be thinking that you're walking away for good or that you're not going to be able to recover from something that has happened between the two of you because of a karmic partner. So they may feel like... Um, they can't fix this situation. I feel like whoever you were dealing with, Gemini, they could have walked away from you in the past for this person and totally left you stranded. And then when they realized that this person was playing them, they decided to try to fix things with you, but they still allowed this karmic partner to stay. We have the two of pentacles. So they're still juggling with this person. So they could be juggling physically seeing this person or they could be juggling juggling energetically mentally but whatever the situation is this person is still around them and this is why they can't have any luck here this is why the ace of wands is in reverse there's no action being taken here i feel like your person is just um just doing nothing they're not doing anything yeah and we also have the star card in reverse so some of you could be dealing with an aquarius but with all these major arcanas being in the reverse and the two of pentacles being here, like your partner, like they, they just, they gotta, yeah, they gotta like let this person go here because with this two of cups in the reverse, you guys are never going to be able to see eye to eye. Okay. As long as someone is in the middle, I feel like you're not even going to allow it. This is why you have stepped back because I feel like you guys have stepped back from this situation. You step back from it because you were in the eight of swords energy okay so you were like okay so should i leave should i stay this person is not not coming towards me the way i need them to things are changing um they're emotionally unstable they don't know what they want and i feel like you were picking up on this energy but they just weren't telling you what was going on but keep in mind your partner has a lot of love for you they don't want this to be over it's just that they are confused because they don't know how to get rid of this karmic partner they know how to get rid of them but it's some type it's some reason why they're hanging on to them okay and this could be a lesson this could be spirit like teaching them a lesson or the universe bringing through a karmic lesson for them and until they learn that lesson this person is going to stick around, but nothing good is going to come out of it. That's the thing. So if like if the person is sticking around, but nothing good is coming out of it, then what's the damn point? And I feel like your person may have thought in the past, yeah, they may have thought in the past that something good was going to come out of that karmic situation. But we have the five of swords. We have the sun card reverse. So some of you, um, you're dealing with the Leo or your person is. And with the five of swords reverse and yeah, and the higher front reverse, they were looking for a commitment from this um, karmic partner and it didn't happen. They were looking for a commitment and it didn't happen. And now they're pissed off about the situation and they're trying to keep it a secret. Um, with the higher front card here, some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. But um, we have the moon card here. So they're trying to keep it a secret. You know, they don't want you to know that this is everything that they're going through. And they're reevaluating the situation with the seven of pentacles. I feel like your person is constantly reevaluating the situation. And it's like, stop reevaluating it. It is a karmic partner. You're not meant to be with this person. You're not meant to walk a spiritual path with them. Let it go. Because if they don't let it go, they're going to keep tumbling downhill. They're going to keep having tower moments. And they don't understand. And I'm surprised I have wow i'm all like i'm surprised i haven't saw the tower and it's right at the bottom of the deck okay so they're going to keep having these tower moments some of them could be dealing with a um scorpio or you could be dealing with scorpio but whatever the situation is they're going to keep having these tower moments because they have not let go of this person okay they think that this karmic came into their life and it's meant to be and you know this is a soulmate for me or this is a swim fight no 
no <laughs> you're like no it's not and until you realize that and stop being spiritually ignorant then you're going to keep tumbling downhill with this karmic partner and every time you try to pick yourself up they're going to keep falling so this is something that they have to realize. So if you stepped away from this situation because of a tower moment that happened between you and your partner, because of this karmic partner, then you did the right thing, Gemini. You did the right thing. You did the right thing to step back because what's going to happen is the universe is going to bring new love into your life and this person is going to keep on struggling and they don't even realize it. I feel like they don't realize it at all. Yeah, they're, wow. They don't understand with this Four of Cups. It's like, I feel like they were trying to get... All right, so what I'm picking up on here is that at one point in time, with this Four of Cups, your person was trying to get this karmic partner to notice them, okay? And they noticed them, but it was not for the right reasons. I feel like they were using them, okay? Um... And then there was, oh, these cards were stuck together. And with this Ten of Swords, there was some type of ending here between your person and that karmic partner. Because the Ten of Swords is here. They betrayed them. They stabbed them in the back. And then they kept playing with them. They kept running in and out of the connection. Not wanting anything. Just trying to see if they were going to allow them to stay. And I feel like your partner kept going back and forth with this person. Because the next card we have here is the hangman. So they had your person stuck. And then your person brought that energy towards you, Gemini. And then they that's how the emotionally unstable energy came your direction and caused the tower moment. But until your person lets go of this karmic partner, they're not going to be able to realize this true love with you. Because the true love does not lie here. Okay? It lies with you. But I feel like they know it. And they feel it, but what they don't know is that they're going to have to let this go entirely to have that with you. Otherwise, the universe is not going to give it to them. No matter how they slice the pie or the cake, <laughs> it's not going to happen. And I feel like what they're trying to do is they're trying to have you and this other person. But um, it's not going to happen that way because we have the four of pentacles here. So um, they're definitely hanging on. They're hanging on to you and this person, okay? And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like your partner is going to try to come in and offer you something. Yeah, they're going to try to come in and offer you something with the Six of Pentacles. But, like, you know, if they haven't let go of that karmic partner, you're still going to feel left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. So some of you could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and I feel like this person is going to try to offer you something. But if they have not let go of that karmic energy all the way it's still going to be like back and forth a back and forth energy so um this is like i'm hearing the need to definitely look at this situation carefully or think about it carefully because we have the ace of pentacles here so i do see something coming in for you for some of you this could be new love because we have the knight of cups so I feel like your partner may try to offer you something, but you know they're still stuck on someone or maybe you just don't trust them anymore. So you feel like they're still stuck with this person. And then I see new love coming in for some of you with this Ace of Pentacles and this Knight of Cups. So um, I feel like you're going to have options, to be quite honest, Gemini. Okay. And if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your partner feeling this way about you. Um, so reverse the roles as need be. But this is what I'm seeing here for you guys reading. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Never Tarot. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.